until then, I'm going dark. <laughs>
and two, your shoulders are going to be pretty much locked in and you're not going to kind of like incorporate any other muscles. So when, you're, when, you're, when your shoulders are back and then down, the way that the, the pads are on my arm is going to be literally right where my elbow is. So literally right here. So that's kind of like where you wanna be. But honestly, a lot of people kind of like find their own little sweet spot. So like try to find that sweet spot for you. But for me guys, the, the pad is going to be right where my elbow is. Top settings, high key I had a spotter last week for 90s and they were a bit of a struggle but this week we ain't got no spotter. I think we hit it for 9 or 10. Fuck yeah, that was a great set. Alrighty guys, so it is the next day. 
and we are here at Alpha Land. We just finished up back. Um, you guys are going to see that, the back workout, uh, later on in the series. Uh, because like I said in the beginning of the video, like a, a few episodes after this one are going to be like pre-recorded episodes. So I just wanted to end off the video with something that I wanted to talk to you guys about. And it's as simply as why. Why did I decide to move to Houston? Besides the obvious, why Houston out of all places? And why did I want to get away from a place that I spent my whole life at? To answer that question, like following up with that, like with the answer to that like question is, I never really like publicly said this, like a few people know this, but I really haven't like verbally said it out loud. To be honest guys, I've never been at home in New York. I didn't really feel that I fit in. Like I always felt like I was in my own world. I wasn't really meant to be in New York for, for like my whole life, if that makes any sense. I always felt like an outcast, I guess you can say, because I've never really was like the group of people that I hung out with and I never really wanted to do what other people did. I always wanted to do my own thing. So with that being said, you know, I've been on trips, I've been on vacations like across the US, you know, I've been to I've been to many places, Florida, Vegas, California. And Houston was the only place that I felt the most at home. We can like name the obvious. I mean, Alpha Land is like a big selling point for Houston, right? It's like it's Alpha Land. Like I mean, you know, it's always been a dream of mine to, you know, be here at Alpha Land, train at Alpha Land, and now that I'm here full time my dream is, has been fulfilled that I that I made Alpha Land my forever home. Let's like take out the obvious of like Alpha Land and stuff like that, but like Houston, there's a lot of aspects of Houston that that kind of like that I liked a lot. Like the people are nice out here. The lifestyle is super laid back. Like for me, I've never been that type of person to be kind of like go go go. Like that's why I never really liked New York City. Uh, because everyone said like, why don't you move to the city, so on and so forth, like to get out of Long Island. But it's like, I've never been that type of person to kind of like fit into the city, kind of like that fast paced type of lifestyle. For me, I kind of wanted to find a place that is like replicated of like where I lived because like where I lived was like on Long Island. It's like a little bit laid back. Houston kind of like replicated that for me, right? So like, it's still fast paced as far as like, I can still, I still feel that like, like life is like go, go, go because my mind is kind of like there and my mind is kind of like locked in, but it's still, but it's still like when I do want to kind of like chill, like it still supports that. 2023, right? Like I, 2023 and like the end of 2022, I kind of like taught myself that I can put myself in new environments and kind of like be my, and not be afraid to be myself, right? And the company and the vibes that I kind of let off is going to be reciprocated to me. So with me being here in Houston, in a place that literally no one knows me, and I can have a fresh start, clean slate, I can literally like now be true, like not be afraid to show people who I am as far as like my personality, not be afraid of any backlash. Like if people don't like me, that's not gonna that's not gonna affect me but if people do like do gravitate towards me and do like me it's because of like the energy is being reciprocated and that's that type of energy that i do want in my life <laughs> again i whenever i do a lot of these talks guys like i go off on a tangent but i but i know for a fact that later on in like post it's going to turn out to be a good talk. But but yeah, guys, that's the, that is like the main reasons why I picked Houston, why I wanted to move out of Long Island. Uh, I'm, not, I'm also going to say this, I couldn't have made this move without, you know, without the man upstairs and the blessings that he has given, you know, me and my family and me and my parents. Like I, I did move down here with my parents, but we couldn't have made this possible without, without all the blessings that like, you know, the man upstairs kind of, you know, gave us. So I'm very thankful and I know my parents are very thankful and I'm going to prove to him and to my parents and everyone back at home that this is, this is it. This is, um, this is my time. This is my time to shine and this is my time to make some moves down here in a place that I've always wanted to be. And, and yeah, and I hope you guys are mother effing ready.
But um, but yeah, guys. Hope you guys like this first episode. I hope you guys are ready for the mother effing series. I know I am because I have been loving creating content here in Houston, creating content here at Alpha Land, and again, 2024 has officially begun, and we're ready. We're ready for what's to come. So I hope you guys like the video. Stay positive, stay motivated, and I'll see you guys in the mother effing next one. Peace.